Could man's best friend help stop humans from aging? Researchers in the United States are analyzing how dogs like these age. Okay, let's try there. They're experimenting with a drug that could slow down the canine aging process and potentially be used in the future as an anti-aging drug in humans. Jake and I are going to hopefully be part of the dog aging project. Veterinarian Virginia Williams is taking her 10-year-old dog, Jake, for an exam at Texas A&M University's Small Animal Hospital. Uh, he's going through the hoops to see if he qualifies for an experimental uh, medication that in the long run hopefully will help dogs live longer, healthier lives. The multi-year dog aging project is headed by scientists at the University of Washington and Texas A&M University. They're collecting data from about 44,000 dogs of all breeds from across the US. 500 of those will participate in the testing of rapamycin. The pharmaceutical drug is normally used in cancer and organ transplant treatment and has previously shown to slow the aging process in mice. Dr. Jenna Aty explains how the drug works in dogs. Um, the drug itself has some really unique properties and it changes the metabolism in a lot of different ways that we are still fully understanding. But one of the things that it does is it mimics the phase of what we go through if we are calorie restricted. And so it mimics this and it decreases the amount of stress essentially on the body and how we interpret stress from a cellular level um, and decreases oxidative stress. And, and we think that over time, um, this could influence how we age. <laughs> Rapamycin's year-long clinical trial is double-blind, placebo-controlled and focused on larger dogs of at least seven years old. Researchers then follow them for an additional two years. Nancy Harkin's four-legged friend, Luke, is one of the participants in the dog aging project. Every month they want you to report on his status, whether he's more sleepy, uh, has he vomited, lost hair, which he does, because he blows out because he's got the undercoat. Um, he, uh, he's been fine. I expect him to live to 10, 12, uh, so with if he got the medicine, maybe extend his life three, four, three more years, maybe. Dr. Aty says that if rapamycin shows promise in extending the lives of dogs and passes the necessary regulatory hurdles for approval, it could potentially be used by humans as well. So dogs are a great model. They have, they are equally heterogeneous as people. So people have this very altered phenotype or you know we can look at people and see that they look different and they act different and they live in different places and our dogs have this, those same attributes that are all variable and so they also have very similar physiology as people and so our hope is that the in, from the inception of this project it was the idea that dogs could be a great model for human aging and so we hope to then be able to expand these findings to help people as well as dogs.